So this is the video I did not want to make. This one's going to be on vetting your gear and making sure that it works and it works properly at all times. If you're going to have an emergency radio set up, it should probably work in an emergency. And to just simply purchase the parts and then believe you're covered on the day you need it, you might be surprised. So my radio box, as you can see, has been completely taken apart and I've pulled the equipment out. And the reason being is for the past three weeks I've been troubleshooting issues, trying to uh, narrow down my exact problem. And it happens to be right here in these batteries. My radio box had consisted of two 20 amp hour LiPo 4 Ecoworthy batteries. And I found that I was only getting about 60 watts worth of stored power instead of the 500 plus I should have. So after going through everything, changing charge controllers, um, at first I believed maybe the charge controller was not allowing the batteries to come up to full power. I changed uh, charge controllers a time or two. That did not solve the problem. Uh, so then what I did was take apart the radio box itself, unfortunately, and I pulled out these two batteries and I gave them a capacity test and they both failed miserably. Uh, this one will show a voltage of uh, 13.6 but the moment you connect anything to it the voltage drops right down to about five or six volts and the battery lets you down. Um, this battery only holds about 60 actual watts and then it'll let you down so that's no good either. I'm in the, the process of uh, specking and ordering another battery. I don't think I'm going to use a pair of 20 amp hours anymore. In fact, I think I'll just stop being so light about it and I'll buy myself a 100 amp hour uh, LiPo 4 battery using grade A cells. Inside these batteries is the the BMS and then it looks like eight silver pouches in series and parallel to get you your voltage. Um, I'm just not sure about that so I'm gonna go with a bigger 100 amp hour battery using grade A cells and uh, and see where that gets me next but it, it's a good thing that uh, this failed during testing and during playing with it here at home and not at a time where I was relying on it for an emergency. As you can tell, it shows I've got 13.8 volts, so you would think powering on the radio wouldn't be an issue. Except it's not powering on the radio, and when you go to demand power, you just lose voltage. So I suspect perhaps a uh, an issue with a battery management system. The fact that it did it with two batteries uh, that are less than one year old um, is a little concerning, I guess, or it's something that I'm going to notice. Uh, so I'll go with a different battery brand, I'll go with a larger battery, and we'll try a new emergency radio configuration. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed.